Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI. Today we're talking about the new Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max and all the super cool settings they've packed into it. When you click on that little gear icon over there on this latest and greatest Amazon Fire Stick, you'll find over a dozen categories of things you can change with over a hundred individual settings that can be played with. What I plan to do in today's video is to share a dozen or so of these settings that will make your streaming experience better and more enjoyable. This comes with a personal challenge from me to you. I'd love to hear from each of you in the comments section below the video to let me know how many of these settings were new to you. Is there anybody out there that already knew about all of them? We'll see. I for one can't wait to find out. To make it easier to get to the parts of the video you might be most interested in, I'll put links in the description below so you can jump around to your heart's content. This video is brought to you by Exter. They make the best smart wallets and card holders I've seen. It just might be the last wallet you'll ever buy. I'll give you a closer look at this Exter card holder towards the end of this video. And of course, I'll put an exclusive link in the description below the video. A coupon code too, take a look. Okay, so if you're ready to hopefully find out some things about your Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max that you didn't know about, or even your new third generation Fire TV Cube, grab your remotes and let's go. If you're in the market for a VPN service to help you stay connected and protected while streaming, have a click on one of the links in the description below. Doing so not only gets you a great discount on your next VPN subscription, it also helps to support the Cord Cutters Li channel. Okay, so before we get started, I wanna go ahead and show you that we are indeed on a Fire TV Stick 4K Max. We're running the latest software version, Fire OS 7.2.9.2. I've checked for updates a number of times and we have the latest version available. So let's hit the home button and we'll just jump into all of these settings uh, that I want to show you one by one. A lot of them are things that you're familiar with, but I'm guessing that some of these you haven't seen before and I'm going to explain them to you here. So let's click on that gear. I'm going to go through each of these 13 categories pretty quickly and show you all the more important settings or the lesser known settings that you may not have known about before. So let's jump in. We'll go to notifications. Uh, you can go into options. If I did have any current notifications, you would see a button there that says dismiss or dismiss all. Um, I don't have any notifications currently. They're a pain. So I like to shut these off. So go ahead and hit that hamburger button, go into settings, and then just basically turn this on to stop your notifications from popping up. The next section is account and profile settings. There's one in here that I wanna show you. And that is down here in parental controls. Now I went over this specific thing deep inside another video, um, but I feel that it's worth repeating because several people commented that they weren't aware of this setting and I wanted to show you this. Not just parental controls, everybody knows what those are, but let me turn this on real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So down in here, once you've added your pin, you can pin protect purchases. And this is a big one because I've had a number of friends that have uh, let me know after I've kind of sold them on the whole, you know, fire stick thing and cutting the cord. They wake up in the morning and they see their credit card bill has charged them for a bunch of movies that they didn't realize they were buying. So by putting this pin in, um, you can stop yourself from buying stuff by accident. The next one I wanted to show you briefly is profiles. Now this may seem self-explanatory, but you can add profiles to the Amazon Fire Stick. And what you will see is, let me quickly go back to the homepage and I'll show you. For example, this is my profile and you can see all the different apps that I have available. We have Pluto, we have Explore, we have you know things like Peacock and things that I've added along the way, Sling, TV, and so on. But if we switch to the Mrs. Profile and go into that, you'll see that only the apps that she has installed are here, which basically is nothing because she doesn't use the device. And this is pretty good. So, you know, some people might be interested in a bunch of apps for sports or news or what have you. Um, other people don't necessarily have to have all of that stuff cluttering up their screen. So profiles are a pretty good thing to play with. Give that a shot. Let me know what you think. The next section here is network. And they've added a bunch of stuff in here with the latest versions of the Fire OS. So I want to show you those. 
as you are probably aware, this is where you'll see all the Wi-Fi networks that you have available and the one that you're connected to. What they added recently is this press the play button to check network status. So if you click on that, they now included this built-in speed test. So you don't necessarily need to install one of these apps like Analyti or uh, the other speed test apps that are in there. You can just go ahead and run a speed test right from here. And when you run that, it will show you what your speed is and what sort of content you're able to stream on your Fire Stick. You will see that it does take a bit longer than one of the other speed test apps that you might have installed, but it does give you a very good indication uh, when it's done of how your speed is. It says, based on our latest speed test, your internet speed can support up to 1080p video quality without interruptions. Now I have this connected to a 1080p device, uh, capture device, and I'm assuming that uh, this speed is plenty good enough for 4K content as well. So if I did connect this to a 4K TV, it would more than likely tell me that it's able to support up to 4K video quality without any interruptions. Moving over to the advanced tab, I want to briefly show you one thing in here that's pretty cool. Um, in the past, all you would be able to see as far as your signal strength for your Wi-Fi is, you know, good, very good, or excellent. Well, they go a little beyond here. If you look at this section up here where it says signal strength, it says high. And in this case, it's minus 35 dBm. Now, being an IT guy by trade, I am intimately familiar with Wi-Fi strength and trying to get the most or the best signal possible when you're dealing with Wi-Fi devices. And this graph shows it best. The sweet spot is anywhere between minus 60 and minus 40 dB. In my case, I'm way past that. I'm off the charts. So you know that this signal is excellent and beyond excellent even. So if you get anywhere in the, you know, minus 45, 50, 55 range, uh, you're probably fine. But if you're in the, let's say, minus 70 or, you know, minus 80 or so range, you probably should get a stronger signal, a better router or closer to your router or whatever you might need. Um, in some cases, it might even be best to hardwire your Fire Stick if you're in this yellow range. The next category is display and sounds. A couple of things I want to show you in here. Under display, a lot of this is pretty self-explanatory, but over a year ago, I made a video on how to calibrate your display. If you watch sometimes some shows, especially sports events where they put like the score up at the top corner, um, very often it might be off the screen. Calibrating in the display here will get you into there and tell you how to do it. And what you're looking to do here is just make those arrows touch the edge of the screen. So if you hold it in here, you can see it will adjust. And you want it to just touch the edge of the screen. Mine were already perfect, so I'm not going to change it. But that's how you would adjust that to get the screen to fill but not go over the edges. The next setting I want to show you is in the audio section. And this is for navigation sounds. I have it turned off, and that's why you haven't heard me clicking around. But if I was to turn that on, you can see every time you click, and especially like if you're watching TV and you're going through the channels, it's click, click, click. This will drive your partner crazy. I kind of like the sound, but I just have learned to turn it off and choose your battles. So I turn that off. You'll thank me later. The next section is under the applications. And more importantly, under Manage Installed Applications, a couple of new things that they've added in recent versions of the Fire Stick, uh, especially the version Fire OS 7. If you scroll down to one of the apps that was not pre-installed with your Amazon Fire Stick, you'll have two options here. If you press the Rewind button, it'll tell you that you can clear the cache, and it will tell you exactly how much cache it's going to clear for you, which is kind of cool. So you can click on that, and it clears the cache. The other button is if you hit the Play button, it gives you the option to uninstall the app and tells you exactly how much storage space you'll gain by doing so. So that, I feel, is very cool and has not been on earlier versions of the Fire Stick. Next section is Equipment Control, more specifically under Manage Equipment. I don't know about you, but here's a tip. Uh, when I travel to a hotel or whatever, I bring my Fire Stick with me. Most of the time, your TV in these hotels or wherever you go, even a friend's house, um, their TV is going to have an HDMI input that you can quickly add your Fire Stick to. And so I've done that. In fact, I went away last weekend, went for a trip down in the Hudson Valley, 
um, stayed at a hotel and I brought my fire stick with me. So what happens is you'll find that your remote won't operate the TV unless it happens to be the same brand. So when I got into that hotel room, connected my fire stick, my remote would not operate the TV. So you go in here to TV and you go down to change TV. And that'll get you through the this, this steps to change it from whatever you have a Samsung at home. It'll change it to, you know, whatever TV you happen to be changing it to. Now, it says it's going to take five to ten minutes. No, it'll take just a few seconds, maybe up to a minute or so. The next section is something I want to show you in live TV. Now, live TV is where you will see, and let me actually back up and I'll show you. Let's go to the home page and we'll go to the live TV section. You can see here, this is the electronic programming guide for all the different channels. And as you can see there at the top, that's all the channels for my Sling TV that I have installed. And if you scroll down, way, way down, you'll see that there are other channels for other streaming services, way, way down the list. Now we're into the freebie section and so on. So let's go back in there to live TV. You go to manage channels. And here you can go ahead and move these around. Let's say, for example, you don't uh, care about the news and news is an app that you can't uninstall on your Fire Stick. So we can go down here and we can hide the source by hitting the play button. And it will say that it's hidden. You can also move the source. Let's say if you want to uh, move Pluto TV channels up, you can go ahead and hit the fast forward button and you can move it up to the top. And you will see that Pluto TV is now at the top of your EPG. Now, unfortunately, there's not a lot that you can do as far as moving the channels, you know, setting some um, channels not to appear and changing the order of them and stuff. The electronic programming guide within the Fire Stick is somewhat limited. At least this option that I just showed you today will allow you to uh, move the services or hide the different services that you may want to see. In the controllers and Bluetooth devices, a lot of this is pretty much self-explanatory. You can add um, like a new... Amazon Fire TV remote in here if you want to. You can also add other Bluetooth devices like headphones or uh, wireless keyboards or whatever. If you do need help with this, um, put some comments down below. I'll be glad to lend you a hand. Nothing really to show you in Alexa. Everybody's somewhat familiar with Alexa. The next section is preferences, and there's an awful lot to show you here, but that's a video for another day. In fact, I've already released a video. I'll put a link in the description below. There are a ton of settings that you're gonna to wanna to change in here. This would make this video way too long, so I'm gonna skip that for now. Go check out that other video. You'll be glad you did. The My Fire TV group or category has changed a bit here as well. If this is a new Fire Stick for you, or you've recently updated it to the latest version, you may find that developer options isn't on this list. As you probably know, developer options are required for us to be able to install apps that aren't in the Amazon App Store. This is another one of those things I'm gonna save you some time. Uh, in this video, I have another video I put a link to that shows you exactly how to get developer options back if you don't see them here. The next one is accessibility. Now, there's one thing I do want to show you here. This is mostly for, um, you know, people that have either, um, you know, hearing impaired or vision impaired or whatever. There's all sorts of things in here. Um, but the thing that I found useful, especially if you your eyes aren't the greatest or um, in some cases, if you have seen some third party apps and the icons are grayed out, this text banner is very useful for that. So if you go into the text banner and you turn it on, it's gonna give you right away a big tutorial about how this works. But while that's on, if you leave that on and then just go back to home, you'll see as you navigate around, it's gonna show you this big white box and it'll explain what you're actually clicking on. And if you give it a moment, as you pause, it'll give you details about the thing that you're clicking on. Same thing goes for the apps. If you click on an app, it'll let you know that that's the app. And you can imagine if this icon or one of these icons was grayed out, you now know what the name of the app is here. This box is configurable. On that previous screen I showed you, you can see you can resize it, you can change the color and so on. So this is somewhat configurable. And if you did happen to notice, if you just hold in the play button for a moment, that'll go away, it'll turn it off and on. So then you can click around and it gets out of your way. And while you're watching stuff, it won't be on the screen either. So there you go, a bunch of settings that I think you'll find useful that you may not have known about for your new Amazon Fire TV 4K Max. This is the same interface that you'll get on the third generation Fire TV Cube that's coming out right around the corner later this month.
As I said earlier, please do put some comments down in the section below. Let me know if you really knew about all these settings. And if you didn't, let me know which ones you find useful and which ones you're going to give a try next time you turn on your TV and look at your Fire Stick. Now for a closer look at the sponsor of today's video. Here I have the Exter Aluminum Card Holder in Pacific Blue. Made from durable space grade aluminum, it comes in 14 different colors and patterns. Access all your cards at the click of a button. It fans them out so you see and get to the card you need quickly and easily. Like all extra wallets, it comes with RFID blocking technology to keep your cards safe inside. Have a click on the link in the description below to check out extra smart wallets and card holders. And don't forget to enter the coupon code CCLI for a 20% discount off of anything. If you enjoyed today's video, please do click the like button below. And if you want to see more videos when they come out for Cord Credits Our Life, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.